Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, guys. Today we will be reading Jessie the Rabbit, so let's get started. Jessie the Rabbit was eating a carrot in a green meadow one sunny day. He watched the other animals run around and play, and he admired them. He had always been the shy one, and they were always playing without him. They made fun of him because he got startled so easily. If a tree fell somewhere in the forest, he would rush into his rabbit hole and hide for the rest of the day. You're such a scaredy cat, Jessie, Teddy and the cub once said when she passed by him. You never have any fun, Jessie. But Jessie, the rabbit, was a cautious and wise rabbit. He knew better than to ignore every sound. I may look stupid and scared, but I will always be prepared for danger. Thought Jessie, he would hide and curl up every time he heard a crack or saw a shadow loom over his hole. One fine day, just like any other, a distant crack was heard. A tree fell down and a light brightly burned. Jessie darted into his hole while the other animals continued for licking around. Jessie shouted as loud as he could, "Run!" But nobody heard him, so he jumped inside his hole and curled into a ball. While Jessie was hiding, he could still hear the others laughing. Then all of a sudden, Jessie heard some squeals, some running, and then Beaver started shouting, "The forest is on fire! The forest is on fire! Everybody run! The fire is spreading!" The Beaver continued to shout as he ran past Jessie's hole. The whole forest was in wild panic. Trampling everything, the animals ran away, leaving behind a cloud of dust and the forest on fire. Only Jessie was left in his hiding place, safe beneath the ground. Jessie had cleverly stashed away a supply of food and water in his hole. He knew that one day danger would come, and he wanted to be prepared. He was relieved to know that he had enough supplies to last until the fire was over. In the distance, Jessie could hear a long squeak. Help! Someone help me, please! Jesse did not want to come out of his hole, but as he knew that the fire was spreading, but then he heard the squeal one more time and a second time. Jesse couldn't just hide in his hole while someone was out there on his own. Jesse slowly raised his head from his hole. He could see the flaming tree all around. He heard another squeal and turned his head to see Teddy, the cub lying down with his leg couldn't. Beneath, like caught beneath a thick fallen branch, the ground was around him was burning and fire was getting closer. But Jesse was very scared. But he couldn't just leave Teddy there. Huffing and puffing, he rushed with his incredible speed towards Teddy. Jesse, please, you need to find a way to get this thing off," said Teddy. Jesse started running around looking for a way to help. Jesse saw that the other side of the branch had started to burn and was becoming thinner. Jesse had an idea, and he darted down into his hole. He grabbed some of his nut casings, and he had stored that he had stored the water in, and ran back towards Teddy. He rushed towards the branch and poured the water on the branch. The branch was now thin and wobbly, but Teddy will Teddy still could not get his foot free. So Jesse gathered all his strength, and in a single dash, smashed his body against it. A crack was heard, and the branch broke into half, freeing Teddy. He slowly got up and approached Jesse. Teddy was surprised at Jesse's heroism, and even more surprised at how he had managed to free him. He saw Jesse lying down. Jesse was looking tired, so he picked him up in his mouth and rushed away from the fire into the cool hills nearby. A few days later, all the animals had settled into a new place in the woods, where the fire hadn't reached. Everyone was still playing, but something had changed. Teddy and the cub, Teddy the cub, was taking care of Jesse. The rabbit was still recovering. No one laughed at Jesse any more, for he had saved their friend, and they knew his of his courage. From that day on, all of them followed in his footsteps and have been careful till this day. They now know that being careful does not mean that you are not brave. Thank you for listening.